Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, a special edition today. Thank you so much for joining us for this very special edition of NFL Updates Express. Today, we go down to North Carolina. It was a rainy day, but we finally got there late at night at around 10 p.m. And before we get started, this is a property of the NFL and we do not own this stadium as you can probably figure out where we're going. This is Carolina Panther Stadium Bank of America Stadium. Our family is Panther fans and when we do our videos, I am not biased. I go my, by my truly honest opinion. But the reason why we came down to Bank of America Stadium is to go to the Carolina Panthers Fan Fest 2012. Unfortunately, my neighbor Dylan could not join us for this occasion, but as you know, he loves football and he would have loved to be here but instead you guys get to watch this video of what we did at the Carolina Panthers Fan Fest and as you see here here's the statue of a nice cool looking panther so we go down in the city and here we go into our adventure we go up the parking garage to give you access of the top of Bank of America Stadium at the top of the parking deck. We get to the top of the parking deck where we find Bank of America Stadium. It looks nice up here even though it was raining earlier the other day, but it still looked beautiful than ever. There's other teams' flags as they represent all other 31 teams in the NFL. We did a little advertising for NFL Updates Express as you can see here. There was a large crowd here in attendance for this fan fest here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And guess what? It was F-R-E-E -E free. Before the practice started here at FanFest, there was performances by Mr. Serper, The cheerleaders. And percussion. The defense starts out by doing feet hurdle drills and then catching the football. In preparation for FanFest 2012, the Panthers did vigorous exercises and various exercises as they did things like windmills, push-ups, stretching of the legs, and jumping up and down. This is the person that every Carolina Panther fan wants to see. It 
is quarterback Cameron Jarrell Newton. Newton and the other quarterbacks warmed up, getting their arms working in preparation for the scrimmages later today. The special teams crew worked very hard as they tried to improve on their special teams, which was not that great last year. Here are some highlights of last year's season of the Panthers. Some various Panther things here, including the Panther's flag and the Panther's statue from its side. The team store wasn't opened until later today, but we got to look at it before FanFest even started earlier in the day. There was cool jerseys including D'Angelo Williams, Cam Newton, Steve Smith, Luke Keekley, and Jonathan Stewart. More people start to show up as FanFest continues to go on before the main scrimmages start. In fact, this was a record attendance, over 20,000 people for the Panthers FanFest as the fan base has grown since the Panthers' dismal 2-14 season just two years ago. Some wide receiver drills were going on as well, as some great sideline catches were made like this one from Armani Edwards. On this play, Cam Newton hands it off to running back D'Angelo Williams, and he scrambles all the way in for the touchdown. The fans cheer and clap as they like what they're seeing. On this play, Newton hands it off to Jonathan Stewart, and he does not give up. Even though the play's already over, he still competes and runs into the end zone. Some of these players are fourth and fifth stringers and don't know if they're going to make the roster, so they work very hard today to show to the coaches that they belong on this football team.
players took a break as they got Gatorade and water on the sidelines and then rested for a few minutes before stepping back into action. Luke Keekley had a few interceptions on Cam Newton today, but this was the best pick as he made a jumping interception. That was just a beautiful pick by Luke Keekley as Newton is frustrated at himself, but you should be happy that his teammate is making plays as the Panthers did not have the best defense last year. Could these be our two starting cornerbacks, Chris Gamble and Josh Norman? Well, we already know Gamble's number one, but who's number two? Will it be Captain Munnerlyn or will it be Josh Norman? This was one of Newton's best plays of the day as he showed mobility and arm strength along with accuracy as he made a nice throw to Kealoa Polares. This was set up to be one of the best plays of FanFest. As the day was coming to a close, news cameras circled Bank of America Stadium to see what the excitement of FanFest was all about, including the record attendance of FanFest. One of the last plays at FanFest was going on before the autograph session started. This is where the chaos begun. We are in the second row, so we got to get autographs from a star player right in, Greg Hardy of the Panthers. We said goodbye to Bank of America Stadium as we took one last glance at it before we left. But wait, there's more. We saw people coming out with fancy cars, so we assumed it would be the players and we saw many people lined up who have been at the stadium before so we figured that this would be where the players come out. So we decided to stick by and see if there was any players that would stick around to sign autographs. And there was one player that was nice to us. It was defensive end Thomas Kaiser. He was really nice and we got to talk to him and he also signed my football. If you like this video, let us know in the comments box down below. So thank you for watching this virtual tour of the Carolina Panthers FanFest 2012. We hope you enjoyed this featured presentation. And if you're not a Panthers fan, next year we may be doing other FanFests. We are not affiliated and or partnered with the NFL or the Carolina Panthers. Thanks for watching this special episode of NFL Updates Express. From Christian, we say, and hope to see you soon.